everyone welcome back to RTS and welcome to a special start to finish video because what are we gonna do today um, mad dash that's what we're gonna do mad dash challenge and so what is the mad dash challenge and I know a lot of you have been asking for it and here it is my friends we are going to do a mad dash page today now mad dash is a challenge I created for an online crop several years ago and basically you are doing a mad dash to get to the finish line to finish a scrapbook page now with that mad dash you get 45 minutes nothing more nothing less 45 but you know <laughs> It's scrapbooking. This is supposed to be fun. You can basically take whatever time you want. It's just an, a way to help you stop lollygagging, hemming and hauling and fumbling over a page and then three hours later you still don't have your papers picked out. We've all been there. Okay. And so this is just a fun challenge and I will have to be honest with you and there are days that I love this challenge and there's days I hate this challenge because my life is already in a hurry enough. <laughs> I feel like I really have to speed through things, but it is a challenge. It is a fun challenge and something to do. And I will say, if this is the first time you've ever done this, you may feel uh, anxiety. <laughs> And you may feel very rushed. That is all normal. Uh, do not consult your doctor. That is part of the Bad Dash Challenge. Okay. Now, it's just fun. That's all it is. It's simply fun. Now, however you want to do your 45 minutes, whether it's a two-page or a single page or a pocket page or a traveler's notebook page, totally up to you. And then also, too, for the Mad Dash Challenge, you can start your 45-minute timer when you feel you're ready to start your Mad Dash. Now, for some of us, we like to pick out the photo and then go from there some other people like to pick the photo and their paper and go from there some people like to have a sketch in mind so you let it up to you again it's just for fun to get you uh, motivated to do a page in a more quickly manner and like I said I love it I hate it <laughs> But it is a fun challenge. And so that's what we're going to do today. Now, I'm probably going to have to stop a couple times because my little one is traveling and I need to check up on her. But it will be 45 minutes from start to finish. Now, along with that, I want to say one thing. On a page, I think journaling is, you know very very important and of course that's not something I rush because I would much rather it not be on there than to be on there and be incorrect and so for me in my mad dash pages my journaling is never within that 45 minutes unless you know I've just done a quick page so for me what I do is I create a page within 45 minutes and then my journaling will come after because I do not rush my journaling I want it to be accurate and I want it to look nice and I just I don't rush my journaling and so I just never suggest rushing your journaling just to get a page done so for me my journaling will always be after my 45 minutes because I have to go to another room and think about it reflect on it get the right date all that good stuff okay so but then once my mad dash challenge is done and I need to do my journaling I do give myself that 15 minutes so that I would have a page done within an hour. That's just something I do, but you can do your journaling within that 45 minutes, however you want to do it. Now, I'm going to do my Mad Dash Challenge, which I'm going to start the timer at 45 minutes, and all I have in front of me is my photo <laughs> this is a Disney photo and I'm going with just one photo because uh, I don't know if I have the energy today to deal with a couple and also this is just a photo I wanted to scrapbook by itself and it's also a Disney page how fun is that and I think I have my title basically figured out it was because of a load prompt I was reading from back in the October load event and uh, so um, the load event is just now happening for February so you'll see some of those start to finish videos popping up so if you are ready to uh, take upon this mad dash challenge go ahead and get some photos ready and then set your timer and then we will go from there okay now some of this when I do my mad dash challenge and if you like this I'll do another one now I had set a challenge that I would do a mad dash with some leftovers and honestly I don't even know where those leftovers are I think I may have put them in my scrap folder or they are but it's just the concept of a mad dash page okay so you can challenge yourself to use scraps you can challenge yourself to use a paper pad you can challenge yourself to do a collection it's just to make quicker decisions okay now you also can within this 45 minute uh, challenge this mad dash if you want to go ahead and work on something with a scrap spin where that concept is someone else is picking your things go ahead and do that you may want to do a scrap spin and then set your timer for 45 minutes there's no wrong way to do this challenge just to have fun making a mad dash to the finish line okay so I'm gonna hit start 
and we're gonna go. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. And I hope, I, I made sure, I honestly made sure there wasn't too many things on my floor because some of this you will not see me. I have to go get supplies. So grab some photos and let's do a Maya Dash challenge. Okay, hold on. Okay, so here we go. It's time to uh, start your engines, or should I say ready to rumble? I don't know, but it's definitely a mad dash. And so what am I going to do? I'm going to hit start, and I'm going to, uh, what am I going to do? I mean, I feel like I've never scrapbooked before. Phew. <laughs> telling you, this is why I love and hate this challenge. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to tell myself to calm down. <laughs> I have 45 minutes. That's plenty enough time to make some decisions for a nice page. So I'm going to go grab a sketchbook. I don't know which one I'll grab first. Who's the, I don't know. It's one page. So I'll let that be my guide. And then I probably will, um, yeah, I'll just think about that. Okay, so let me go grab my sketchbook. Oh, I gotta hit this timer. Okay, so let's hit the mad dash. Here we go. Okay, so I need to go get a sketchbook. And guess what's laying by? Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put my timer here to the side. Okay, and tell myself I don't have to rush. I don't have to rush. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. <laughs> I took my jewelry off. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I mean, I'm telling you, sometimes this makes me nervous. Okay, so here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick a sketch with my photo in mind. And I have the Laura Whitaker sketchbook. And this is what I do. And I simply am looking. What am I looking for? Just anything that catches my fancy. I have a one photo. And I won't be doing too much descriptive talking because this is Mad Dash. I can't lollygag. No, make a decision. And something will hit my fancy here. I'm hoping here soon. Well, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. Well, there we go. Okay, so that's my, <laughs> there it is. Now, why did I pick that? Because I just saw a very simple page, and that's exactly what I'm going for. I'm going for a simple page, and of course, you know, it's Disney, it's all the stars. That is fun, fun. I don't even have time to put that clip on. <laughs> no, okay, so now papers. I think I want to... I think I'm going to play with something different today because I've been in the mood for this paper pad. And what is it? I don't even have to get out of my seat to reach it. Nope, it's in my cabinet. And it is a Paradise Crush. And of course, that's why I picked it because of the par you know, the look of the paradise here. So, stop talking, Janet. You got to get this done. <laughs> Okay, so with my papers, of course, this is eight by eight. This will absolutely work fine. I just need to get some cardstock and then a backer. Okay, so don't look at the clock. Don't look at the clock. <laughs> okay, so I basically just need scraps of paper. I didn't even have to have a paper pad, but I do need a cardstock and I need a mat. So let me look through here, get an idea, because I have to get an idea of what I'm playing with. But it's one of those things I'm not going to sit here for five minutes and look at paper. So I'm just going to give a quick flip through. Oh, there's flamingos, baby boy. That'd be nice. Oh, yes. Okay. So how many pieces of paper I need? One, two, three. Oh, whatever. We'll just uh, keep this pad nearby. That's pretty, too. Yeah, I think it's because I'm so cold. Oh, that's pretty, too. We're ripping this out. This is uh, like a canvas treatment. Okay. And uh, I think it's because I'm so cold. I want I want this feel. This is pretty too. Oh, and I like that orange. And so I'm just ripping out some paper to play, and that's how fast it's gonna go. Uh, I don't do the butterflies, but I'm I'm gonna do that. And you see what I'm doing? Quick, quick, quick. Some of this may be in frame, may not be in frame, but you're doing Mad Dash wish with me, so it doesn't matter. No, we'll see how this turns out. We see if we like it. Maybe we'll do another one in the future. Yes. Oh, that's a pretty one, too. Oh, this paper from this first edition. So lovely. Okay. One, two. What did I say I needed? One, two. I don't like the B-side. No B-side. Nope. I don't even have one. But this is canvas, I think, is what they call it. Canvas textured paper. Now that is luscious. Okay, so uh, there's no B side. Just tick on my fancy, so I'm gonna keep on going. And we'll pick one, two, three, four, five. We'll pick another one. Why not? For get good measure, and then I'll put this away. That looks like a Maggie Holmes paper, doesn't it? Very, very pretty. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for a pop of something that I don't already have there. I don't know if I'll find it. But we will keep looking. Okay. 
There'll probably be some times I'm not talking because I gotta think. I like this. You know, I'm just going to. Why not? I do not save paper for a later date. No. Okay, so that's done. My sketchbook is to the side. My paper's to the side. That wasn't... See, that was only a couple minutes. We're, we're good. Okay. Now, I'm going to get a piece of basil. Whatever I grab, I grab. There we go. There's white. Okay, and then I'm going to go... And I'm going to take one of these pieces of paper right here, and I'm going to go find a piece of pattern paper for a mat. I don't know how it'll be, but uh, get busy with your own man dash. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see how many things I fall over. Oh, come on, baby. Mama needs a pair of shoes. What can we find? What can we find? I don't even know what I'm looking for. I feel like I'm in the dark over here. Ooh, that's nice. Well, there we go. I found a Maggie Holmes paper. And it's only because I was looking for color. And that's what I found. So, there we go. Okay. So, now, well, how will I start? Well, since Laura uh, Whitaker gave me the direction, I'll have the sketchbook below. Now, I can go ahead and start working on papers. And then pull some embellishments. I can do that. Or I can go ahead and look at my title. I mean, look at these papers. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now what? Oh, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Well, she's got some stars. I really don't want that. Oh, they're stamping. <laughs> yeah, like that's going to happen. <laughs> okay, let me go pick a font. Okay, let me go pick some thickers. Yes, because I'm not doing any die cutting. No, I'm already down to 39 minutes. I don't have time to think, let alone get a die out. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, okay. So I grabbed a thicker bin. And when I say, yo, you're making quick decisions, no, see, there would be quick. <laughs> yes, hello. Boy, that would be very quick, but that's not really what I want. Oh, but you know what? One of those might be good for details. I don't know. That's kind of big. You don't have time to think. Oh, see, that's cute. Oh, and that might be good for a date. Okay, that's good. And what else? I have some multicolor here. I was thinking that would work. Those... No, not going to work. So I just have a thicker bin in front of me. Oh, here's some more gold. Life is beautiful today. No, I don't want to be generic. I think my title was going to say it starts here. I think that's what it's going to be. That is flower power, baby. I'm going with it. I could use that for a date. Okay, okay, we're moving on. Now, what will I do for embellishments? Since... This is what I have. Oh, she had something for matting photos. Okay, I could do that. Um, okay, embellishments. What could I do? Well, I could simply... What do I got? I got some floral. I got tropics. Uh, what could I do? Oh, I have a sticker pack. And I know it's right here. <gasps> yes. Smack me sideways. Yes, I have this right here. And I just happened to spy them not so long ago. So, I don't know. They make a little... Oh, they're a little cutesy, aren't they? Oh, well. Run with it. Okay. So, then I definitely could pick... What do I got going on here? Turquoise, green, peach. I could play off of something. What am I going to play off with? Ooh. Oh, white. That would be pretty. White. Okay. So, let me grab some embellishment drawers. Of what, what, what should we do? Ooh. Okay, there's white. And I don't know. I'm getting quiet, right? Okay, so I maybe turquoise. Just make it easy for myself. <laughs> Just make it easy. Okay, so we got white, turquoise. Yes. And what other color? See that coral? Well, where is coral? I never know where coral is. Oh, no red, no orange. Do we have pink? Okay. I'll just pick some pink. Good old standby pink. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> you can tell it's Mad Dash. My cushion just <laughs> fell off my chair. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> see? Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I like this page, but it makes me so nervous. <sighs> Man. Okay. Oh, dear Lord. i got to find my trimmer. <laughs> 
You've got to be kidding me. Oh, where's my trimmer? Oh, dear Lord, smack me sideways. <laughs> okay, oh, my trimmer's in the kitchen. Hold on. This is how we do it. This is Mad Dash. You don't stop the clock. And right there was 10 minutes, folks. Okay. Oh, breathe. Breathe. Okay. Boy, I was hustling back that uh, out that hallway. Okay. So I'm going to cut this crepe paper. Maggie Holmes Gather Paper down. I'm going to have to move some of these embellishments. And so I'm simply going to sit here and play. what I have in front of me. Oh man, I should have never brought up this Mad Dash challenge. What was I thinking? <laughs> Too fun. Okay. So I hope it's going well for you so far. I hope you're not out of breath like I am. And I'm simply going to cut off a little bit on two sides. And I hope your trimmer was not in another room. <laughs> but I was working on uh, our next four for four series. I was working on that. <clears throat> Couldn't sleep. So I was sitting at the table working on that. So right there's my page. Okay. That is good. That is good. Okay. So now what's Laura have? Where's my sketch? Here's my sketch. Okay. So I do not have vertical. I have horizontal. And so she has just some block pieces of paper. So we are going to just play. And I know I'm going to map my photos in this. So this is a four by six. So we're going to make this a four and a half by six and a half. And if I have to cut down, that's good. But it is a quick decision maker. You don't have time to figure out what you want to do. You just do it. Okay. And I may cut that down just a tad. It depends. So there's my top layer. My next layer, what are we going to do? We are going to do this pattern right here. Now with Laura's sketches, she does not give measurements. So you totally guesstimate. And so I'm going to do a two and a half and I'm going to leave that eight inches right there's that piece. Okay. Then what do we have? Well, then we have another big block and I think we are going to do this and I think we're going to cut it a five by five. Why not? I am totally, <laughs> how about a five by seven? Why not? I am totally just uh, playing with these paper sizes, but this is just how you do Mad Dash. You do not, oh, that's pretty already. Yes, yes, okay. So then we need some bigger pieces of paper and then bigger pieces of paper. <laughs> yes, now I picked out five pieces of paper. Where's my timer, what am I on? Okay, what are we on? 33 minutes and I may just leave this 8x8 eight eight as an 8x8 eight eight. so let's just play with these papers why not okay I better not let that go too far and so again this was a paper edition or do I want to take the time to say this it's paradise crush and it's either first edition paper or they call it something else they have a couple different lines couple different names for these papers. What's the other one? Come on, Janet. You shouldn't be looking. Oh, trim, trim craft. So you have to look for or sometimes it's, it has by different names. Okay. So this is this, this is this, which way am I going with this? Okay. Right there. Oh yeah. Okay. That's not too bad for a mad dash. <laughs> okay. And this is basically a block design. So we're just taking blocks of paper and we're layering them on top of one another. Okay. Now, I may do a little bit of a fishtail down here, and I may have to do that sooner than later. Okay. Oh, you know what I could do? Huh. What I could do right here is I'm going to cut this in half real quick, and, and then I'm going to extend that, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to extend that from here to here, and nobody was the wiser that I cut that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's my page. And so I'm going to go ahead and work on my title and my year. Okay. How's it going, ladies? <laughs> How's it going? Okay. So there's some wax paper. I always have some just uh, nearby my desk. And I'm going to call this, it starts here. 
that definitely came from a load prompt. I was thinking about it the other day. Okay, it, 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 okay, I, it, and I'm just going to put my title here, and it's going to probably go in a vertical fashion. Where'd Laura have hers? Up there? Okay. It, okay, here we go, it, S, T, A, R, T, <laughs> I'm going from the outside, I'm working my way in, and yeah, it starts here, okay, there we go, that's not hard, okay, and I need to pick up another R, and let's just throw on an exclamation point. Oh, uh -oh. I'm getting a lump and bump over here. In case I want that. Oh, and here's these little bits and bobs. I just go ahead and throw them on there. Where's another one? There's another one. Okay, there's three. I always do an odd number. And what did I need? I needed an R. Am I out of R's? Oh, phew, man. <sighs> yes, I thought I was out of R's already. Okay, so this goes to the side. And... I'm going to go ahead and pick a 1 and an 8 for the year. Okay. Now, you know with this Mad Dash challenge, well, along with that doesn't mean putting everything away because, man, I never could get that done. No. Okay. There's my title. There's my date. Moving on. And now <laughs> I have these things to play with. Okay. And I could play with those now, but I think I'm going to get some papers on there. What am I at for time? And I had this paper here I didn't play with. Oh, man, could I get that on there? Oh, yeah, maybe we could. That's a lot of color. Wait, what do I got going on here? That's a lot of color, but it doesn't matter. It's Florida. Tropics, baby. That's as tropics as I get. Okay, so we're down to 29 minutes. I better start getting out my uh, ATG here. And let's get cracking. Okay, now I don't want to forget that I have these. And I don't want to forget that I wanted to do, I wanted to do this. And so I'm basically going to meet this up, but not fold it. And of course I'm rushing. But it didn't take too much for what we've done already, did it? No, it didn't. Okay. So I'm just creating a point up here for my strip. A fish tail, yeah and so I'm just meeting that at the corner but I'm not folding that and I just take my scissors snip it bing bang boom there we go there's my point okay yes and I may get that other paper on there I don't have time to deal with you come on let's go let's go <laughs> okay, let's start a hearing oh my goodness okay so let's go ahead yes we're throwing things oh <laughs> you have got to be kidding me Oh, smack me. My ATG's going to run out. Oh, great gravy. Well, that's part of Mad Dash. You have to roll with it. Okay. Now, I usually have to stand to, uh, <laughs> to get things on correctly, but we will see. We will see how it goes. If I do any straightening up, we'll have to deal with that later. And let's move all these. And I will adhere this. But yes, uh, my ATG is going to need <laughs> refilled. See? <sighs> oh, yes. Now, I'm definitely going to have to stand for this one. So bear with me. And I hope you are scrapping right along with me. I hope you're making some fast decisions. And you are just having fun. I hope you are laughing with me, not at me. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so we got this going on. What did I do with my papers? Okay, now with a block design, what you simply do then is you start playing with blocks of paper. It is that simple. I want to make sure I have this one correct before I start. Now, which way did that go? Oh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, there we're going to go. I think that's what we're going to do. I think I'm just going to start. Oh, wait. Before I do that, i got to put a refill in. Well, yes. <laughs> How lovely. But that's just... That's what you have to do. Okay, and I'll put that part of my Mad Dash challenge. I have to see what time it is because I do need to check on my little girl. 
Well, come on, what time? Okay, so in just about a minute here, I need to check on her. And, uh, yes, I'm just doing a refill, folks. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm doing. And I just did a video about adhesive talk, and see, there we go. That's You have to just break that off of that starter piece and get it on that roll. Don't let it stick to the strip. Make it stick to the roll. Okay. And we're going to do arrow, arrow, and wrap. That's how quick that is. Absolutely. This is definitely some real time. Real time everything. My adhesive ran out. Looking for paper. And my sticky's there. So we should be good. Okay. And I'm running a piece here. Okay, we're ready to go. That didn't take too long. <laughs> no. Okay. So let me uh, pause there for a minute. We got 25 minutes and I'll come back and uh, we'll keep on going with Man Dash. Okay, so we are down to 25 minutes and four seconds. <laughs> so let's get cracking. And I'm basically, uh, look at Laura's sketch here. I have my photos on a mat and then everything is basically just layered. And she has her design centered, but I think I'm going more to the left. And she has a punch design you know, an edge punch. I may get into that or may not. I think I have one floating around <laughs> because I haven't put everything away. So I'm going to just play here and see where my pages are going to go. And I have to keep my title in mind. And my title is, it starts here. And I think I'll probably run it up that way. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's just get, <laughs> let's just get cracking again. And so we have 25 minutes. Can this be done? <laughs> So when I find that when I'm doing a Mad Dash page, basically I don't have as much time to be creative with my embellishments. And usually that's what I find to be true. And that's just the way it is because that is the creative part for me. That's the fun part. And that is the part that I do not time because I enjoy it so much. And so I'm just using my T-square here and I'm not giving any rhyme or reason to where I want these. Just as long as I line them up correctly. I'm going to give a little bit of border so I can see everything. And that is exactly what I'm doing. And I'm following Laura's sketch pretty much to the T as far as layering things. Now, when it comes to using sketches, it definitely falls into the category the more you do them, the more you become familiar with them and then you just don't struggle with them and so that is the case for me when it comes to sketches I basically all I see is a background and then I run with it okay now I could center that like that or I could offset that we'll see what I like and we'll see where we're going to put those love that and I love that okay so I'm going to put that there I'm going to put that there take my t-square line that up and that is where I'm putting those. Okay. Let's put one there. One there. Okay. And look at that. We already have our page being built. But of course, I only have one photo. It's easy to do that when you're only using one photo. Okay. And I'm left-handed. So I'm always seems to be reaching over myself for things. And you see how I cut that paper in the middle, even though it was eight inches, and I extended that, and it's going to go behind this mat, and no one will even know. And I think I like that offset a little bit. Yes, everything's a little offset. Now, I could have took a punch and gave a decorative edge to one of those, but I just don't have time because I didn't have time to think, <laughs> and that's what I wanted to do. But, you know, if you have a punch laying around, don't be afraid to do that on some of your papers. When you're doing Mad Dash, it doesn't just have to be paper and slapping it down. But sometimes that's what happens <laughs> when you do Mad Dash. So that is my page. And now I just get to playing. I'm going to put my title. And of course with Mad Dash, my title, of course, is going to have to be used. I'm going to have to put, you know, quick dry somewhere. <laughs> and I may, where am I going to run my title? Well, it would show up here. Okay, and I'm just going to play with those, but, hmm, I could run it right here beside the photo and use that coral as a little bit of a grinding base, 
and I'm not going to break out washi because I already have to, uh, you know, I already have a lot of color, I have a lot of pattern, and that is really my design is my pattern paper, okay? But I know I can get some photo corners in, and I got these little things I can start playing once I get my title in. And I think I'm going to run my title. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to run my title here and then have a cluster here and a cluster here and my journaling will go here. Okay, that's my plan. Get cracking. Get smacking. <laughs> yes, get cracking and get smacking. Okay, and I'm sorry I have a little bit of allergies today. It's not fun in the wintertime with allergies. No. Okay. Now, for Mad Dash here, I don't know if I will have time to sit here and use my quick dry on this. And actually, I think I'm going to have to go start down a little further. I don't think I'm going to have room. See? I don't think I have... Well, well, here we go. Keep on going down. <laughs> okay. Now, in uh, Laura's sketch, too, she looked like she had some stamping or some stitching. I don't have time for neither. So, when you're doing a Mad Dash page, you just skip those type of techniques that take the time because you don't have the time. So just skip it. doesn't matter. We're just going for a completed page that records the story. We're not worrying about getting techniques in and all the latest product in. Now, of course, you can tell that my title, and I think since I went to the edge here, I probably will do that. My title what was I saying? <laughs> kind of blends in with my paper, and I wanted that on purpose because everything is blending in pretty much in my photo. So, yes, that works out good. Okay, now if that can just stay there until I have time to use my quick dry. But, yes, I kind of want that to, it, it blends in. You don't even really see my title. And that's okay because <laughs> that's what we're going with. I'm telling myself that's what we're going with. And so I'm basically just adhering some of this down because my letters are going to keep popping if I don't. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And I will adhere those down. And I'll just press them down here for a minute because you know, make sure I have it spelled right, it starts here. That definitely blends in, but I like it. I like it a lot. I see the dimension, but of course when I come over here, I will definitely mention my title in my journaling. That's how you can do that. Okay, so I'm down to 18 minutes. Time to uh, stop lollygagging. I need to get embellishments because my journaling is going to go here. I'm not stressing over that. I could get some photo corners and I have white. So what do we have in the white? Okay. Oh, we have some leaves. Oh, yes. Butterfly, more leaves, retro. And you see what I'm doing. I'm just throwing everything out. Oh, and here's some actual leaves. Okay, butterflies, some of that, some of that, just throwing it out there, okay, and of course I have white enamel dots, get that out there, and then what do we have here, well we have turquoise enamel dots, so of course that's almost a mint green, but if I get some of that darker in there, I'm just giving it a quick look to see what I have, anything that draws my attention, I'm throwing it out there, yes, you see I'm grabbing the enamel dots. This is my lump and bump part. Oh, that's a pretty green. This is my lump and bump part. Okay. Nothing is really... Oh, here's more of a... No, that don't do it for me. Oh, here's a turquoise butterfly. Yes. Okay. Oh, I see a bread. What do we got? It's in the shape of a heart. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> okay. Now, that is one of the downfalls of these bins. That things go to the bottom. Uh, I am not someone who likes to dig for things. And I saw a heart bread in there and I lost it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll sit here for two minutes and look for it. Oh yeah. Okay. So that is the downfall. Things go to the bottom. But at the same time, look at all these different types of embellishments I have. And I don't even have to get off my seat. What else do we have? We have some stars. says winter. Oh, there's a camera. Look, throw it in there. Come on, we don't have time. Oh, there's another color. Oh, that's a pretty color, too. That matches up paper. See, I'm just throwing them out there. Whatever. I'm still looking for that heart bread. Oh, great gravy. Give it up. <laughs> oh, that goes good, too. There's a camera. Oh, that goes good. Give it up. Give it up. And in this, I have different colors. You know, now I'm on a mission. I have to find that heart bread. 
there's another camera. Life is an adventure. No, eh, I don't like that. Oh, adventure. There we go. Now I'm going to flare. But I have a variety. <laughs> okay, give it up. That's you got to give it up. You don't have time. Okay, and then what else did I have? I had pink. And, yeah, I didn't find that heartbread. But, man, see, I'm going to look for it again. <laughs> oh, man, it was such a pretty heartbread. Oh, well, move on. That's what happens when you have a favorite embellishment. You get sidetracked. Okay, there's some more enamel dots. I'm looking at my pink now. What do we find? Oh, uh, there's some wood veneer. Uh, no, I don't want to introduce another color, let alone I already got too much going on. Oh, there's some, uh, there's some pink fabric. And could I find a bread in here? Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm just looking for anything to stick out because I don't have time. I don't even want to look at the clock right now. How are you doing? <laughs> How's it going? Oh, there's a, a pink camera. Oh, you never know. Okay, so I'm just going to throw what I can find here in this pile. And then I will play with what I have. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm just giving a final look here. No. No. Oh, epic. Eh, that's not really epic. I can't read that. I even have a new pair of glasses on. Still can't read it. Oh, but there's a pink red. Pink. Oh, I'm just playing now at this point. <laughs> okay. So, I'll put those away for a minute and see what I have. And so, I'm going to play with what is in front of me. And then, of course, I have this right here okay and i see a couple in there uh, i see a flamingo i'm definitely getting that flamingo out okay so now what will i do because i need some cluster bases i'm going to go to my bigger pieces here and this is a circle and that could work for a cluster base oh this is pretty this is pretty this is pretty I may just do which is the right way i may just stick that there or i could stick this down here what time am i Come on. Come on, baby. How much do I have? Oh, I have 13 minutes. I basically could get that done. Oh, and there's a lot of part popped off. See what I'm saying? You gotta put you gotta put another adhesive on that. I really wanted that close to the title. Okay, there we go. So then that'll bring my eye to that right there. Okay, and then we're going to do a cluster up here. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more down here. Yes, <laughs> uh, doily, you gotta go. I don't have time for you. I don't want pearls, no. I can put that cluster right there. Look, that is how simple and how quick. Now, of course, these are Heidi Swap. I don't want this gold at all, so what I will do is simply somewhat, see if I can cut that off and see if we can tuck those. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna wing it. I have no problem. <laughs> cutting up embellishments okay so now I have this here and that adds some blump and bump I'm gonna have to get rid of that well okay so basically I just cut that apart now I have two pieces of fabric works for me look at that right there yes that is what that is what I'm playing with Okay, and I really, when I'm building clusters like this, I do not, uh, I do not uh, glue anything down to I know for sure that's where I'm going to put it because I do a lot of tucking. Oh, and this title is going to give me fits. Okay, I wish I had time for that. Okay, so I'm down to 12 minutes, so I am going to have to make quick decisions. Here's a butterfly. So we'll get another white on here, another white butterfly up here somewhere. Okay, we got some more flowers. We're just, um, we're just doing some layering and tucking of different embellishments. And sometimes what I'm doing down at the bottom, I'm doing up here. Okay, and we have a camera. We have some flare. That would be a pretty flare right there. Why not? Oh, no, I like this adventure. No, I like that. I could put that up there. Okay, now my journaling is going to go down here. Okay, I have that turquoise here, so I'll put that little... That is how I'm building that cluster, okay? And let's see, I'm now we're down to little bits and bobs, little bits and bobs, little bits and bobs. Okay, and I'm proud of my space. I have 18 that's gonna go here somewhere. And I think that 18 
is going to go. I really don't want to do it on a photo. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so time to get my quick dry. And it is time to start adhering. And I'm just going to put everything in. That is how fast I do those clusters. Now, of course, do you see how I streamlined it? Is that I put everything out in a pile. And then instead of having to rummage through my entire uh, embellishments... And I'm trying not to lift this up too much because I don't want to. There we go. Oh, no. I don't want to move these letters because I'm going to have to glue every one of those down. That is the downfall of thickers. Okay. And then I am just simply gluing and tucking where I had everything laid. Yes. Okay. And I am definitely going to use those. Okay. We have 10 minutes. I can get this done in 10 minutes. Yes, I can. Okay. I'm going to lay that on top of that. And I'm only using this because of the texture of the canvas. And I wanted to get some more on there with that pink. So I took that flag that was this and I cut off that topper. That's how I got that. I might go do it up in the other corner. It depends on how much time I have. Because when I'm doing a mad dash page, there is no time to just play and play and play. No. I don't get that opportunity. No. <laughs> okay. Now I have another flower here. Gluing this down. And you see why I like my quick dry? Yes. It dries quick. Okay. And I'm just basically layering, layering, cluster, cluster, adding some dimension. There I got two butterflies going in two different directions. And then I have a starting point for my title because my title blends in. And so using that white is a good balance for that. Oh, I had a couple sprinkles of some enamel dots. And that is where that's going to start. Oh, wow. You talk about thickers that have no adhesive. Right there would be one of them. Okay. And then let's get up here and get cracking. Let's get this in here. Yes. Now this was a die that I already had punched out. And so that's what I say when you're putting your pages away, whatever's left over, put them in your color bins, color drawer, or a little basket or bin. And then you already have something like that done because there was a circle element on Laura's page right here. <laughs> so I got it on the opposite side and I didn't even have to do it. Oh yes, that makes me happy. Now, where was I going to put that? I'm going to put that right there. And to fill up that awkward space there. And I think I'm going to tucker that. Tucker that. <laughs> and these uh, floral sprays here, again, were leftovers from another page. Makes for fast pages. Okay, I'm going to tuck this a tad under there. I'm gluing fast, baby. <laughs> oh, now there's my butterfly. I better wait till I figure out where I'm putting that. Did I have another butterfly? No, but I have a flamingo I wanted to get on there, didn't I? Okay, so we're going to glue this down and just do some tucking of that little flower. And we have butterflies going in that direction. And of course, I really didn't want that there. But I am going to put the date right here on top of that flower. That will be pretty. Yes. Okay. I really like that. Okay. So I hope your page is coming together quite well. Okay. Now I will tell you right now that when I will be done with this page, oh, I like how that element works right there. I will definitely have to secure more of my elements on my page because this, this is too willy-nilly for me. No. Okay. And then I had a flamingo. I wanted to get a flamingo on there. Where could we put that? Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, where are we putting this? Well, we could put it with the butterfly. Well, there it landed, and that's where it's staying <laughs> because I don't think I can get it back up. Oh, that was a happy accident. Yeah, you just landed right there on the page, and we're going to put the butterfly there. Okay. Now, sometimes I don't like to use a critters when they're the wrong size because in real life, the butterfly would not be bigger than a flamingo, but you do with what you can. And so I think I'm going to use these color of enamel dots. What time do we have? Uh, six minutes, so good. I can slow down a tad. Okay. I think I would want that to move a little bit. Uh, I will play with this color of enamel dot because that color in the middle of that banner strip was so prominent. Okay. So where will we do this? We'll put one here. 
and then put another one and another one I think so I don't know if I like that size yes I like enamel dots in three different sizes that's fun of course I may get this color I may do it up here okay it brings that color from here to there and I'll bring some down here why not and just do a little sprinkling yes okay so that is <laughs> if I had to be done but oh you know what I wanted some photo corners so I am pretty much happy with that other than things would have to be adhered a little bit better for my standards but that will be what I would do but I'm, I'm happy I just want some photo corners and what would be the luck that I have photo corners here I'm pretty sure I do because I throw fo photo corners in about every color bin okay so I hope this is a little bit of fun for Mac Mad Dash see how fast the page really can get done see how uh, my process is and I'm simply going to take those photo corners in each one of the four corners because I don't have time to pour it to punches. I don't have time to do a decorative edge. I mean, I could if I wanted to, but I don't want to, <laughs> no. And then also too, when you're doing a mad dash, it's fun to do a diagonal page. Why? Because then you don't have to worry about a visual triangle. Instead of three clusters, I only have two. And that is a little trick when you're doing a fast page, okay. And so, I do not know by the time this goes up, if our next go-to designs in the block design, if that will be up. But if not, that will be coming up very soon. It's just a matter of load time. Okay, so you see I put those photo corners on there. They do not have adhesive, so I'm lifting up each corner and I am putting, I am putting that photo corner you know, I'm putting the photo corner on and then adhering that corner uh, because that has no adhesive to it. And so there is my four photo corners. Oh, I love that. I love this page, okay? Like I said, things are not adhered to the best of my ability. <laughs> no. But we have four minutes. I'll just show you my process. I have no brads to cover. And I am just putting my favorite adhesive anywhere I see something raised up and I go to the very edge put a line you know how I feel about these fine line applicators we all love them I will have information listed below if you want to order one okay there's a little bit of trick to knowing which one to order so just look below for that and I'm just gluing all of that down now I can tell you I will not have time for my alphas but that's no worries you can't rush that you don't want them to be on there crooked no okay and I just lifted up all the corners of my layout whether it be photos or paper or a flamingo <laughs> and I hear that all down okay now some of these pieces here that don't have adhesive I won't put them down because I want a little bit of movement okay because you know I have a nature element in my photo and things are always moving in nature so I would say ladies now, is that on straight? I can't tell. Well, I would have to put a little bit more. I think I'll probably use glossy accents on that. Or, you know what I can do? My favorite new glue from Scotch is my super glue. If I can squeeze some of that out of there. You don't get very much in those bottles. And I will make sure that's lined up. Is that flare not perfect for that corner right there? Love that. Love that. Yes. Now, I did get a flamingo on there. That was fun. Now I have all these pieces to put away. But you see, when I was selecting items, I selected way more than I needed. Because then I didn't have to reach in this anymore. I didn't have to reach in the white. Well, I did get for photo corners. But I just played with what I had. And, you know, of course I could get some more pink on there. But I like exactly how it looks. I think it looks balanced. I have a visual triangle in this teal. And I have the white going in a diagonal. And then my journaling will be on white and it will go right here. And that is my Mad Dash page. Yes, it is. And I still had one minute. <laughs> okay. Do you think I could get these adhered? Okay. Now, I won't bank on that. But this is what I do with each one of these letters. Is that I adhere them with quick dry. Because you have to. Because you can see right now they're causing problems. Yes, they're already moving. They're already shifting. And if they're shifting on a page... 
before you're even done with it. Can you imagine what it's going to look like at the bottom of your page protector in about two weeks? Yeah, it's not. they're not even going to be there. And I want to make sure I have some spacing. I'm going to have to slide down a tad. Okay. I love using the edge of a photo or a piece of paper because then I don't have to get out my T-square to do an alpha, you know, to do a title. Okay. Yes, definitely. I need some more room here. So my timer is probably going to go off in a little bit, but I'm going to sit here and finish this. I'm going to finish this title. And then that means my page is done other than my journaling. And that is a man dash page. Yes, 45 minutes. Can't beat that. Now, I don't know if that S is upside down or not. So what I do is when I don't know if it's upside down or not, I look to see how it was originally done. I don't know. That looks that S looks upside down. I don't know. Well, that even looks worse. <laughs> okay. But if I don't know if something's upside down, I look how it was on the sheet to give me some indicator how that was supposed to be. Okay. There we go. I knew that was going to go off and it still scared me. Okay. So that was 45 minutes. And that is honestly from picking out the supplies to picking out a sketch your paper your embellishments getting a design in of course you know Laura Whitaker sketch gave me a very f fast starting point and I will have the link below for her book and I think that's still crooked for this free sketchbook because you talk about something that's amazing to have and amazing to be free yeah that sketchbook would be one of them okay and then, have you ever put a title down and then you spelled it wrong? Oh, yes, I think we've all done that. <laughs> yes. There's nothing like completing a page and showing it to someone and they say, Oh, you have a spelling mistake. Oh, well, thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I never do that to someone. I never do that. Because it's like, is that the first thing you could say? No. First thing you could say was, oh, that's a nice page. You don't need to talk about a spelling mistake. <laughs> No, I don't like when people do that. But at the same time, if I have a spelling mistake, I want to know about it. So how does that figure out? I don't know. Okay. So there we go. I'm going to have to put a little bit of glue under that coral piece of paper because it's popping up. You see why I use my quick dry so much? Yes. That is it. Okay. And again, my title blends in, but it doesn't matter. It's my page. I like it. And it's staying there. And I have my exclamation point crooked. <laughs> now, if I have a spelling mistake on this page, I'm going to have egg on my face, won't I? <laughs> it starts here. Okay, yeah, I think it's all spelled right. <laughs> but do you like when people pick out your misspelled words? Now, I, I guess I'll say it this way. When a fellow scrapbooker points out my spelling, like a misspelled word, I like that because we all want a good page. But like if someone is not a scrapbooker and they point it out, I don't like that. No. <laughs> I didn't show it to you for grammar. I think I have that upside down. Again, looking at my, yeah, okay. There is an upside down to this exclamation point. And so I just have a couple more letters here. And, you know, why not finish something you started? doesn't matter if your timer already went off. We already completed the page. We're just doing a little bit of cleanup. Yes. We are putting the foundation powder on the face. That's what we're doing. We're finishing up. Okay, so that is my Mad Dash page, start to finish, with a Disney page that says it starts here. Yes. You know, I could have put, you know, the magic starts here, but... Really, for us, it all starts here at the contemporary. And that's what I'll talk about in my journaling. And again, I probably am just going to give it one look over one more of any corner. See, that corner was up. That corner. Any place where I have a corner, I am sticking my quick dry. Let's see, with my flamingos, he popping up. I'll tell you. Okay. And that's why I like the quick dry. Because it draws quick. Yes, okay. There we go. There is my Mad Dash start to finish. Love how it turned out. Of course, I have three pairs of scissors. I got three things of embellishments. I got alphas laying around. <laughs> but that's the fun part of creating. 
Yes. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this mad dash again. When you start that timer for 45 minutes, it's up to you how much you have already pulled out or how much you want to pull out once the timer starts. For me, I like to have my photos already in hand and then maybe an idea of something. But other than that, I like to go pick my papers, then my supplies and then play. Okay. And of course, you know, using a sketch, I can't recommend it enough. It's a big springboard. It's a fast springboard. And uh, again, I'll have those links below. So thanks for stopping in the start to finish enjoy your weekend and load is happening right now so start looking for those start to finish uh, pop up that is what I'm going to focus on for the month of February as well as getting the last couple go to design videos that will be coming up so that's all I have for today come back to RTS because you never know what we're gonna do bye